Hello there. Google Maps business listing rankings. Uh, that will be the main topic for today. Google Maps business listing rankings. Very important topic. My name is Chris Palmer with chrispalmermarketing.com. And in today's video, what I would like to share with you is the importance if you are choosing a new location for your business, or perhaps you're just moving your business, or maybe you're just pondering to yourself, hey, should I add a second location? What I want to share with you is a massive, massive factor. Location. <laughs> There's not much I can say other than choosing the right location that Google is going to reward based on city and keyword. Let me share with you some examples so you know exactly what I'm talking about. On top of that, I'll share with you a, a very hard city and a hard keyword, car accident lawyer. We'll do Philadelphia and let me share with you exactly what I'm talking about. But more notably, please check out chrispalmermarketing.com for any and all SEO needs. So let's, with that being said, let me go ahead and get into this so I can share this with you. First and foremost, let me share with you how important location is and let me help you understand what I'm talking about. For instance, let's come on over here to Los Angeles, all right? The name of this extension, if you're wondering, is uh, the Valentin app or Valentin app. Valentin app had a uh, online tool where you could change location. They made a free extension. I'm not sponsored. There's no links. It's just a good tool. It's free. I use it. It's free, right? I get nothing out of it other than to help you. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and make this a little bit closer. We'll see how that's, how that looks. Eh. Mm, you probably need a haircut, but other than that, it's okay. <laughs> Let's move on. So let me share with you this, this location tidbit and why this is so important, all right? Because the reason why I'm bringing this up is I've had quite a few business owners. They want to add extra locations, and I was so like, please pick the right area. And here's what I mean. So we've gone over here to uh, Los Angeles. I've changed my location utilizing the Valentin app, Okay. Searching within desktop, and yes, I understand that mobile, desktop, incognito, all this extra stuff could be applied, but I just wanted to share with you the piece of information, all right? And, and that's what I'm going to do. So first and foremost, we're going to search for car accident lawyer, okay? Let's take a look at car accident lawyer in Los Angeles. If you want to rank in Los Angeles, right? Let's just say, for instance, I was in Los Angeles instead of Pennsylvania. If I wanted the rank for car accident lawyer in Los Angeles, you it you would, let's just make sure I have this correct, change the geocode. Let's go ahead and do a quick little search here. Now, here's what we have. As you can see, there's these three businesses that are being ranked. They're in this particular vicinity, right? If you want to rank in Los Angeles for car accident lawyer, I'm not saying it's the only way to rank, but if you want to put yourself in the best, the best way possible to rank, you want to make sure that you're in the area that Google is rewarding for Los Angeles plus car accident lawyer. You want to be in this particular section here. Let me share with you another example and share with you in the same city, but being out of the zone, how just being out of the zone can drastically impact your rankings. Let me share this with you. So let's go to another location. Let's go to Philadelphia. Okay, Philadelphia is a relatively large city. It's close to me. Car accident lawyers, not necessarily an easy term, right? So it's we have a high competition market and a high competition niche, right? So very prominent people fighting, a, a lot going on here, right? So, and, and I'm going to choose the same exact city, same exact keyword, and literally, it, it, it's it's less than two miles like just out of the viewport here will change the rankings just that little bit that's how much it matters i, I hope you're understanding this okay uh so here philadelphia all right let me share this with you so we're going in here to philadelphia all right we're going to search for car accident lawyer okay so we scroll on down the page here and we have uh this particular firm, this particular uh, lawyer, and this particular lawyer. So here's the port that we're in, okay? And let's go ahead and click on this, all right? So let's go here. And, oh, let's go on back. Let's just make this a little bit bigger, 
uh, it does the same thing. So we can see that in this zone here, if I want to search for car accident lawyer from Philadelphia, you need to be in this particular zone here, okay? As we can see here, all right? Now, just being slightly above or to the left or to the right or to the bottom can impact our overall rankings. I know it sounds crazy, but I have to let you know this. All right, now, let me share this with you. Still in Philadelphia, mind you. All right, let's back out a little bit. Okay, and I just want to share something with you. So let's just go to, we'll stay in Philadelphia. Let's just go, let me see how this looks. Watch this. All right, let's just take a look at uh, the map together. All right, just want to hammer this home for you, and then I'm going to answer some questions that uh, we previously have had. All right, so let's get inside of here. Let's take a look at the map together, and let's stay in Philadelphia, but just out of the square that is being rewarded. All right, look at this, Franklin Town. So literally, what? Let's let's do. Uh, South 16th Street or Chestnut Street to Franklin Town. Let's see how far away this is, right? So we have uh, South 16th Street to uh, Franklin Town, okay? Franklin Town, all right? So uh, South 16th Street to... Uh... <laughs> well, this South uh, 16th Street is definitely not where we're going. All right, five miles. We're talking about a five mile difference. Do you wanna go closer just to, to really prove the point? Five miles is well within range. Like we're talking about a five mile radius here, okay? So let me just share this with you, all right? Kensington is in Philly, right? Like, so here, let's go back over here and let's take a look at these businesses. So you have Levin, Stephen L, and then you have My Philly Lawyer, all right? Searching from Philadelphia, car accident lawyer, now, again, if, if the profile is strong enough, I'm not saying that you can't rank plus time, like how long have they been on the board? How long have they been ranking? How long have they been in business? How many factors do they have? How much money have they spent, right? Are they running guaranteed ads? Like if you're pumping money into the system, you get a lift. I don't care what anyone says, right? But here, let's take a look at this. And all these guys probably are and gals. But let's take a look at this. Let's just change literally a five mile change. Okay, same keyword, same city, right? Franklin Town, Philadelphia, literally just a separate little town. All right, so we're still in Philadelphia, five miles away. I do a search. Remember, Levin, Stephen, my Philly. I do one change. Boom, it completely changes. We have one player here, but this guy's been here forever, right? Maybe, I assume. Okay. <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, I, I'm assuming that this is a flagship location and this person has been here for a very long time. Maybe I'm not sure. Pretty confident, but still nonetheless, look at that literally just five minutes, five miles away. All right. And you, if you could try this for yourself, I mean, just being slightly out of the viewport puts you at a disadvantage. I would highly recommend if you're going to a new location, okay or if you're thinking about adding another location, or maybe you've just changed locations, be very, very particular on where you wanna rank and what your primary keywords are. If your primary keyword is car accident lawyer Philly, type that in and see what's where, where Google is rewarding. You know, like car accident lawyer Philadelphia, right? If that's what the chance is, okay, who's in the, who's in the viewport, right? Because if I change just by a mile and I just do Philadelphia, right? It will drastically, I mean, it could be as, it could be as little as 1.8 miles could, could completely put you at a disadvantage. Just like that. Very, very important to choose your location. My name is Chris Palmer. If you have any questions related to Google Maps, Google Business Profiles, local SEO, SEO, on-page SEO, off-page SEO, really anything SEO related, please feel free to go ahead and ask in the section below. And I always look forward to seeing you in the next Google Business, Google Maps location video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye. All right.
Hopefully that has helped someone uh, that's thinking about moving. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to answer any of the questions that you uh, that anyone might have. Okay, uh, so let's go in here and we'll we'll start banging these out. Uh, can you replace the JSON file in Wix? Cause when okay, so we have a question from JM JM Pest Solution eighty seven seventy one, and he asks, can you replace the JSON files in Wix? with these and and what he's referring to is json ld schema right because when i when i'd benchmark lighthouse or seo ability would say json files were an issue great question json ld is what is recommended by google all right this is the recommendation when we go and we look at guidelines when we go and look at schema markup from google this is what they are requesting that we utilize it's one of the formats you can use rfa you can use micro data there's other ways to go about schema markup but json ld is one of the recommended ways with that being said can it be utilized inside of wix and the answer is absolutely inside of wix squarespace and any of these builders that are very easy to use for beginner website uh business owners or whomever could be utilizing it there's a a, a portion a way to add html and you can add json ld into the body with an html tag so this would be the recommendation if there is not a place to add it into the head or the foot i don't know specifically for wix but if there's no option you can always add it into an html tag inside the body hope this helps you out and i'll see you in the next one all right uh, i'll turn these into shorts is what i'll do um, but we'll go through them together uh, and if you have any questions right now go ahead and add it in uh, I'll be happy to help you out. If you need me to make an example, I'll make an example. You want me to look at your site, I'll look at your site. But just note, these videos that are coming in here, these quick, punchy answers will be inside of a short. So if you share something, note, I'm going to share it, okay? Um, I had a, a, I had a, it was, it was a, a client, a friend, kind of. Um, all my clients are friends. And they were, they were like, dude, you showed my site. I'm like, yeah, I know, I asked you. <laughs> I was like, of course, I mean, I was working on it. I didn't, it's not like I made a two hour long video about it. It was a five second clip. <laughs> I got a thousand videos. Uh, the next question, can you optimize all Google? Like someone else's page, it won't matter. Mm, okay. All right, this is a great question. I get this so much. All right, welcome to another Chris Palmer SEO short. In this short, we have a question from JM Pest and he asks, so I can optimize my page all I want, but if Google likes another page more than mine, it doesn't matter how much I do. And to a degree, that's the case. You know, we know about three factors, right? We know about on page, we know off page, we know traffic there's another one technical side right your schemas your speed technical but then there's an an un, there's a there's a factor of time and the factor of time is so important you you can pass equity from links but you can't pass age and age and time is true authority it's one of the true metrics of authority along with traffic so even if you do all your optimizations, I got my on page right, I got my speed right, my technicals right, my backlinking is right, I have more links, I have a better website, it's faster, it's more beautiful. Doesn't matter. If that person has been there longer and has more trust, especially if they're in the top five positions, like it's too much of a risk for Google. If Google's ranking and has something in the top five, and for the last four years it's been generating clicks and answering queries inside of a session, why would Google change that? Think about it. Google's a product, right? Their job is to answer the query. If they've been answering the query successfully, why would they push you up? Because you spent money and did a good job. They don't care, which is a problem, but that's another discussion for another day. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next video. I don't know if that was a minute or not, but it felt like a minute. <laughs> uh. 
All right, my friends. Uh, what is the step-by-step -step approach to rank a service area business uh, in the map pack? So regardless if it's a service area business or showing the business, I, I do feel that service area businesses are putting, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. Also, the thing that I feel with service area businesses is business owners get greedy and they try to set too large of a area. At the end of the day, when you set up your business, depending on competition, niche, the city that you're in, generally you get somewhere between three to five miles of solid good rankings, right? Depending on niche, depending on what city you're in, right? You might see some pest control guy in some city you never heard of getting like a 10 mile spread or a 15 mile spread, but for the most part, in harder competition areas, my friend, you know, you're getting five, six, maybe miles, right? So have that in mind when you're a service area business and optimize the website and the profile around that, you know, as you build authority over time and don't get a rush. Six months is not a long time. Eight months isn't a long time. A year isn't a long time, but show consistency within your business for an entire year. Do good business, stay on maps, do your citations, do your directory listing, set up your website, set up your website talking about the locations that you service, the services you provide. Be transparent with your customers, Google, and the people that land on your site. When Google sends you those test calls, make sure you answer your phone with your business name. Like all these little things for a long extended period of time, you can expand proximity over time. All right. You know the practices. I've made countless videos on optimization. Optimize your profile and don't be greedy with proximity. And over the course of time, you'll rank. So you know the steps, right? I, and if you don't, I have the main channel has so many videos on Google business profile optimization. I've given away checklists. Like I assure you the stuff that I do for my clients and we do very, very well. I've had a, a like... Out of 10, I probably have an 8 out of 10 hit rate. Like, we're in the map pack. Like, you know, so the, the strategies are very sufficient, right? So if you watch those videos and you see the optimization, what I share with you here for free on YouTube is exactly what I do for my clients. My only objective here is to help you, right? Not everybody has the luxury to have someone do the work for them, you know? So I make these for the people that don't have that luxury. Uh, but hopefully that helps you out, my friend. All right, I have countless videos. If you want the checklist too, if you take a look at the channel's uh, feature video, that video has the checklist in it. It's free. You can have it. If you if you don't want to watch the video or you don't want to spend the time, if you go to seomastermind.org and you click on free, right? This right here. Here, I'll show you quick. If you, if you search for SEO Mastermind, right? and click on this first result, that's me. If you come up here to free, why is this down here like that? I, I don't know why that is, but anyway, click on free. And if you scroll down this list here, uh, this right here, local SEO checklist. Maybe I should make it say maps checklist. Uh, better yet, here's a better one. Google business profile optimization. There's six files. Here's the 24 point checklist right here. It's free. You can have it. It's literally the list that I made for my VAs. The one that I made for my VAs was crude, right? This one, I actually took my time and I made it pretty into a, like a PDF inside of a, an infographic. And I made six separate slides for people, for you. Okay. So hopefully that helps you out, my friend. It's free. You can have it. I, I want you to be, I want you to win, man. All right, <clears throat> Michael, how realistic it is to offer optimizing for this service? It seems straightforward and not crazy complicated. It's not, it's not. The steps are simple. Where people, where people, where, what I have noticed, right? This is simply my opinion, in, in, my, in, in my opinion. Where I see a lot of business owners and uh, beginner SEOs is they get into a rush. See, they get into a rush because they feel that they are not getting to the rankings that they want fast enough. So what do they start doing? Well, they start building more citations. They start doing more directories. They start doing the map citations. They start sending traffic. They start buying reviews. They do all this crap from all different people, right? But it's only been six months. 
It's only been seven months. It's only been eight months. Like, why would Google trust you? There's a hundred other businesses in front of you, right? They got there before you. Like, why would you deserve the spot? If you haven't, it hasn't proved out yet, right? Now you might run up there faster, but this is what uh, I see consistently. The process of optimization and doing what is required in order to win is very straightforward. But where people get, they get antsy, right? Everyone I talk to like, oh man, this isn't working. What's going on? Well, how long have you been uh, working on it, right? Uh, six months. Well, how new is the website? Oh, the website's a year old. Like, come on, you know, uh, time is a factor. So um, to answer this question here, Michael Brain Inc., cool name, cool picture. Uh, however, after searching for companies that do these services, it seems in their experience and expertise, they seem to get really advanced with it. Well, see, it, it always baffles me. See, that the, the, reason, the reason why I won't sit and personally, this is, again, my only opinion. Like, you, the person that you're buying stuff from, right? We can't go off of that, you know? Like, you can't tell me, you have to show me, right? So, what I'm getting at is it might sound good. Like, it sounds good, right? Right? It might catch a sale. But let me see it. L let me see. You know, I, I hope that makes sense to you. Um, so I'm looking to start a business like that and uh, bring value. Well, and that's the key here, my friend. If you bring value to a business, you will have plenty of business. I assure you. Stay honest. Do a good job. Right? Actually be helpful. You're not there to make money. You're there to make them money. Right. And, and once you get that dynamic nailed down, you will be ultra successful. I assure you. Right. The focus isn't making money. The focus is to help. All right, my friend. Hopefully that helps you. That was a massive switch for me. You know, from the from being 28 to 38, that was the change. When it when it goes from making dollars to helping my entire life changed and it will for you, my friend. Um, so is it possible? And, and yes, it is a hundred percent possible. And I have a free checklist, grab it and start helping business owners win. There you are, my friend, and uh, hopefully it helped you out. Oh, this guy has sent so many messages. Wow. Just realizing I've seen this dude a lot. I appreciate you. I don't know what or where that is. Free Google business site. Okay. All right. So here, let's talk about this. All right. Hey there, I am Chris Palmer with yet another Chris Palmer SEO short. In today's short, what I'd like to answer for JM Pest is where is the free Google business site. You know, in the past, it was very easy to add the free Google business site. Now, in order to get to the free business site, there's two ways. There's a tricky way with the URL, which I'll make an entirely separate video on, or the easy way is remove your website out of your Google business profile, just temporarily. When you remove that uh, website temporarily, Google will ask, hey, do you need a website? And your response will be yes. You'll click the button and it will take you to the free Google business website where you can set up the Google business website, keep the Google business website, and then add your website back to it. Generally, you're going to want to create this at the start of the campaign, but if you want it and already have your main website in there, this is how you do it. I hope this helps you out and I'll see you in the next video. All right. Uh... He swapped sites. Yeah, he, he tanked. He tanked it. He's on his seventh iteration of the website. Um, I may or may not know him. <laughs> Can I activate and verify Google My Business profile without a website? 
All right, good question. All right. Hey there, I am Chris Palmer with another Chris Palmer SEO short. In today's short, we have a question from Jumata Asset, and he asks, can I activate and verify a Google My Business profile without a website? Good question. And the answer is, yes, you absolutely can. I've seen countless businesses not have a website, but what they will generally do is send them to a booking page, so a third-party application that's just a booking page, or I've seen people or business owners send it to like a link list, I forget off the top of my head, like a link tree of some sort, that type of page, or they'll sell, send them to a calendar or they'll send them to a Facebook page or a Twitter page. So there's a lot of different options for you if you don't have a website. And if you don't have a website, Google will offer you a free website. So a lot of options, a lot of opportunity, and I hope that this helps you out. I'll see you in the next short. All right. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, this goes on. Is it possible to run GSA in India when a BVN? Like, hola. Maybe, probably. I never used it. Okay. All right. All right. Hey there, I am Chris Palmer with another Chris Palmer SEO short. In today's short, I'd love to answer the question for CC Koiber. Hopefully I didn't butcher that name. And they ask, is there one website building platform, WordPress, Squarespace, Wix, that's best for SEO? Great question. And the answer is, if you're brand new to SEO or website building, then try them out. They all give you a free way to utilize their platform, their website builder. Some of them will even have hosting. Try it out. What I have found over time is it's all about what is easiest for you to work with, whether it's a theme or a website builder on WordPress, whether it's just the free WordPress, maybe it's Wix, Squarespace, Duda, you know, uh, Drupal. There's so many, so many different options out there. It's whatever is best for you and your process. I hope this helps you out and I'll see you in the next one. All right. <clears throat> Hey there, amazing video. Yep, 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 yep. Glad to help. Uh, ah, crud. Basic schema is not new specific. If I'm using a free or paid theme. Isn't this already inside of it? Okay. Uh, uh, I'll answer this one quick here. Hey there, I am Chris Palmer with yet another Chris Palmer SEO short. In today's short, what I'd love to answer for Maria Maria 7449, they ask, if I'm using a free or paid theme, isn't there already schema built in? Isn't it already taken care of? I'm confused. Help me out with this, Chris. Sure, Maria. So the answer to this is some of the themes and some WordPress will have some very basic schema built in. However, it sounds to me like you're utilizing WordPress. And in my opinion, some of the better schema plugins are going to be your all-in-one SEO plugin. You have SEO Press. You have your Schema Pro app, I believe is what it's called. It's also a plugin. And there is really, there, there's Rank Math. People love that. I don't really like it, but it's a good tool. There are so many options out there that will allow you to create your schema and it will be perfect. And it's very easy to implement across your website. If you want to hand code it for yourself, check out Scamantra dot com or Scamantra app if you want to hand code it and add it for yourself or check out schema.org. I hope this helps you out and I'll see you in the next video. All right. Let's see here. Let's see if there's anyone else in here. All right. Um Harry, my GBP was reinstated twice already and again suspended. Had our approach asked for another reinstatement. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. I forgot about doing this before. I just had the main screen on. I should have did it like this. Hey there, I am Chris Palmer with yet another Chris Palmer SEO short. In today's short, what I'd love to do for you is answer Harry's question. Harry says, my GVP was reinstated twice already and again suspended. 
How do I approach this and ask for another reinstatement? This is a phenomenal question. If you've been turned down numerous times, the chances are it's going to be highly unlikely that they're going to reinstate it. There's some type of issue there. However, don't fret. You always have another opportunity to slightly move the pin, the longitude and latitude, and create another listing and try to verify the same business at the same address again, but with a different longitude and latitude. This will give you a fresh way of trying to go through the verification process and it won't have any strikes against it. I hope that this has helped you out and I'll see you in the next short. Bye-bye. Uh, let me iterate on this a little bit for you. Okay, brother. Um, let me share this with you, Harry. Um, I recently went in, I had 37 either Chris Palmer, Chris Palmer SEO, Chris Palmer marketing. Some of them still linger out there, but I went in and deleted 37 Google business profiles. Okay. Of, of just my own stuff that I created either mastermind, Chris Palmer, Chris Palmer SEO. I had 37 or 38 of them. Okay. Now what I learned, all right, and this could be a quinky dink or just for me, because you know, I'm, I'm technically essentially a worldwide business, right? I, I am willing to help any business anywhere as long as we can communicate. Right. With that being said, what I have found with Google business profiles is it can, it can, at least for me, it drastically, it, it hurts because I have other properties other than Chris Palmer marketing and Chris Palmer SEO and SEO mastermind stuff that I, I, I will never share on YouTube, uh, but it still has my name on it. still has my face on it. Right. Um, but what I noticed with those GBPs is that name, that entity, that brand is always tied to different places. So if I have a website that says targeting Los Angeles, right? It would want to tie me to the area that where the GBP is. If I had two GBPs in the LA area, one for mastermind and one for Chris Palmer, and it was associated to me, it would always want to tie me to that area. And it would make it very difficult to break out of LA. This could be a coincidence, right? But what I found after removing each of this is a, you know, I literally went in and removed them all. Okay. So what does that tell you? <laughs> like, you know, it was in my best interest. So with that being said, um, I don't know why I wanted to share that piece of information with you, but let me share this with you. All right. Oh, this is why. So with that being said, I had 38 just in my name, SEO Mastermind, Chris Palmer SEO, Chris Palmer, and Chris Palmer Marketing, right? When we were running through and reinstating them and people figured out some of the numbers that I was using and attacking them, right? What I quickly figured out was this trick, all right? And I'll, I'll share it with you because I, I, don't, I don't utilize it for myself anymore. It's, it's irrelevant to me, um, but this can be helpful for you, Harry. All right, so let's just say that Harry's you pull it. This is a junkyard uh, close by my house, right? In Hazleton, right? About 20 minutes away, okay? Anyway, with that being said, if I come over here to maps and we take a look at Harry's you pull it, let's say I own Harry's you pull it, all right? And Google or competitor, somebody's causing trouble for me because... A, a mainstream strategy right now, which is just mind-blowing to me that people would even consider harming or hurting another person's livelihood is just mind-blowing to me uh, as a strategy to help rank. Like, why you would, like, that is just disgusting. However, with that being said, um... You know, I've, I've played that game before and I, I didn't sleep all night, right? Kind of in a way, you know, I felt bad and I had bad karma because of it and I, I stopped doing it, right? I don't ever want to harm or hurt anyone else. It's just bad karma. But anyway, Harry, to help you, okay? Let's scroll in here. Let me share this with you. All right, bro. So see how this right here, this is Harry, you pull it. 
So Harry's U Pole is on 2557 Garyville Pike, Pennsburg, PA. Okay. When I click on this share button, though, what you will quickly know or notice. Oh, my mistake. I'm sorry. You right click here and see how, see this geocode, right? This longitude and latitude. So that's the current pin. Let's say I get suspended. This whole place right here is the same address. So what you do is you say, okay, if that's suspended, not sus suspended, but disabled, right? That means it's totally gone. If it's suspended, that's a soft suspension. If it's disabled, you're toast, right? There's a difference, okay? Suspended, you can keep trying, and you just haven't given the right data back to the owner yet or back to Google yet, right? You can keep trying. I think you can get 10 tries. But with that being said, like on the 10th one, you won't have the option anymore. You'll have to manually get, you'd have to get to them. But here's my recommendation, all right? If you get to the 10th time and you've given them the IRS forms, you've taken pictures, you've given videos, you've even got on chat, right? Live chat on your phone while you're at your business and even did the videos and they still won't do it. What you do is you come right over here. See how this is, this geo code here, longitude and latitude, 40, 38, 250, 75, 46, 253. And we're at this address, 2557 Jerryville Pike, right? Pennsburg, PA, 18073. If I right click here and you see, 46259. I go here, 46253. To the computer, to Google. Even though it's the same address, it's technically not. And you won't, you won't have the same strikes against you. So... If they keep torturing you, go to the same exact address, the same exact place, same everything. But change the longitude and latitude and re-verify your business with a different phone number. All right? All right. Hopefully this helps you out. And uh, that's that. Can you answer uh, questions on any other topics related to SEO? I'll answer whatever you need. Swag Mac Macus. Macus. Good day from Arizona. Good day to you, sir. City Locksmith says, also, can you make the Gmail account trusted? Okay. My GBP was reading. Okay. Also, how to make the Gmail account trusted? Um, you don't make them trusted. You buy them trusted. You buy them trusted. Right? So, it's... You buy it. You buy it from Google. All right. Uh, next, City Locksmith. Cheers, Chris. It's 1.30 a.m. for me, but wanted to get on here and say thank you for all your videos. We continuously see our business grow. We are now in the second place on the map pack for Locksmith. City Locksmith Taylor. Awesome. City Locksmith. Um, I believe that we are working on your asset, right? Man, it would be awesome. I'm gonna have to. I'm not. We're we're building out a new project, a new forward-facing project, um, for a lot of different services. Um, so we need. I need as many testimonials and reviews as possible. I'm gonna start paying uh, customers for video uh, testimonial just because I need it. Um, so yeah. Testimonial City Locksmith. Thank you, sir. Appreciate your time. All right. Who else do we have here? And I'm glad to help. Uh, can you answer questions? Of course. Good day from Arizona. Good day to you from Pennsylvania, sir. Eighth wonder of the world. Are there any other page factors that can improve map, map rankings? That's a good question. I'm going to give you just some quick ones, okay? Clearly, because this is going to be a short video. Oh, uh, and before I forget, if you have not already, all right? Listen, between us, I had to buy it. We had to buy uh, open bar, right? Anyway. I have countless rooms, right? Um, 
we already paid for the meals. If you, ha I, I assure you, you will. Ha I guarantee an excellent time <laughs> uh, in Las Vegas, August twenty second through the twenty fourth. You know, uh, if you haven't seen Digital Unfiltered, never heard of it, have no idea what it is, please check it out. Uh, we would be so happy uh, to have you. Um, check us out. Uh, looks like we got another sponsor here. That was cool. Uh, but we'll be hosting an event in Las Vegas, August 22nd through the 24th. Got Craig Campbell, Chris Palmer, Holly Starks. Ruan backed out on me at the last second. He is going to Board Ape Fest, whatever that is. Thanks a lot, Ruan. Nah, he's my buddy. He's a great guy. Uh, Steve Toth, Mike Pierce, Ted Kibaitis, Brian Cato. He's got a lot of cool stuff. All these, all these guys and gals are great. Clint, of course. Garrett, awesome. He should be talking about some negative SEO stuff. Lee is awesome. Dory, great. I can't believe uh, Dory's accepted our invite. That was crazy. Randy, my buddy. Lisa, she's not black hat or gray hat, but she has a lot of information if you're trying to scale. So she can be a valuable asset. Mike Merlino is just awesome. He's fun to listen to and work with. Uh, and Terry Samuels, of course. I want to try to get him off the schema. We know all the schema. I want to see if we can get him to talk about a little bit something else. Uh, what you're going to hear from me is two years of testing in 90 minutes. I'm going to just go from test to test, test, answer, slide, test, answer, slide. Here's what we tested. Here's the proof. Here's the, here's the answer. Next, I'm just going to go bang, 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 just info, info, info. I want people to just like be like, right? And that's what I'm going to deliver. Um, but yeah, that's me. Everyone else. I'm sure Holly will have some fire for us. Uh, but yeah, anyway, enough pitching, Chris. Back to business. Uh, swag Machinus does, uh, let's answer that uh, gentleman's question. Eighth wonder of the world. It's late. It's two o'clock in the morning here. So remember, I've been up since 630. And, you know, other than little Chris time, I've been right here, you know, SEOing. It's every day, every day, every day. It's maddening. It really is. But I love it a lot. Cheers to you. Oh, man. Hey, do you guys want to sponsor me? This company here? Come get at me, please. <laughs> you guys have got me um, drinking these flipping Sour Patch Kids. I love them. They are so good. I quit the Red Bull. Only Ghost. And I'm going to Vegas, and wouldn't you know that this stuff is made in Vegas? How crazy is that? That's that Vegas water. Anyway, the eighth wonder of the world asks, let me see here. Uh, okay. All right. Hey there, I am Chris Palmer with yet another Chris Palmer SEO short. In today's short, we have a question from my friend, eighth wonder of the world, and he asks, or they ask, are there any on-page factors? that can improve map rankings. Now I could give you a lot of different factors, but let me run down a few that are the most important. First and foremost, we the keywords, the services, the products, the category, the precise words that are being utilized within Google business profile, the words that Google wants you to use. These are the exact phrases and terms that we need to see on the home page. Okay. The home page, and the homepage optimization is crucial or key if that's the page that's linking from the Google Business Profile. All of the keywords that I'm talking about here on Maps need to be talked about on the homepage. Also, authority outbound from the homepage back to the Maps to connect that circle, super important. Also including links to reviews that are keyword focused. Very important. I've seen nothing but lifts from that. We tested that. Um, these are going to be the crucial steps. On top of that, we want to have locations and primary keywords inside of headers, footers, and also within the body text and inside of the H tags. When I said header, I meant the main head bar, like the drop down. We want to make sure we're getting stuff in there. So I hope that this helps you out, and I'll see you in the next video. Um, yeah, primarily they're looking at that homepage, though.
all right? Like, you want to make sure that the words that are being used over here inside of the maps listing are on that home page. It's all about the home page, all right? Um, those are the most important things, as far as on page specifically. Um, all right, here's another question from our good friend here. Let's see here. Swag. Swag, I'm surfing. Swag, I'm surfing. There's like a song. I think it's like Max B or something. All right. Swag says, All right. Hey there, I am Chris Palmer with yet another SEO short. In today's SEO short, what I would like to answer for Swag M is, does mass backlinking to a YouTube video help it's ranking on YouTube or on Google. What else do you think that helps a YouTube video on Google rank? Good question. So uh, two things here. So the first question is, do backlinks help a video rank on YouTube? No, no, they do not. I've tested this every which way. I assure you backlinks do not help you rank on YouTube. Now, with that being said, backlinks, embeds, shares, will help you rank inside of Google, Google search engine. It'll help you win video, video carousel, and featured images or featured videos. Uh, on top of that, the next element is what else do I think or know will help rank a video? Consistent views at a very high rate with a high watch time will help you rank, period, period. End. We ran this test, I ran 50,000 views, Right, I've done other tests since then, but this was a test that I shared public, so I don't mind sharing it with you. While the views were running, not on this channel, I don't ever do anything odd with this channel. This is my work channel, uh, but on test channels, on brand new, no, no nothing channels, right, for uh, Bitcoin terms, Bitcoin programs that we were promoting, when we were running the traffic, the videos were ranking number three, number four for hard terms. So, Traffic um, and longer than a minute watch time on relatively short videos, it's a factor. That's a factor. A high click-through rate with a high watch time and a high retention rate is certainly a factor while the views are running. They don't need to be rapid, but they need to be consistent and they need to be at a higher rate than the top performing video. So if you go into and look at a, a top performing video and say you're utilizing uh, vidIQ and it says, oh, this video was receiving 13 views an hour. You need to do better than that and have a higher watch time and a higher click-through rate and you'll rank. It's hard to determine click-through rate and watch time overall, but it's pretty easy when you go and look at the video and you can see the jumps see where those jumps are at. You know how they'll highlight the jump? Once you can see where that big jump is, that's generally where people shut off. So then you know, oh, the average watch time on this 10 minute video was four minutes and 42 seconds. So then you know, okay, I need to set my watch time to five minutes and 50 seconds, right? And I know that, and and let's say it was getting like 13 views a, a, an hour, right? Okay, I need, to, I need to keep cranking more than that. Or I think it's by the minute is what uh, vidIQ lists. So like you can figure out what the retention rate is generally because the, the the spike will happen where people shut off right when you're looking at the graph on a video that is a high performing video you you'll see it secondly too you can uh with vid iq and a lot of these other tools you can see what the views per minute are right so once with those two numbers now we can figure out okay what do we need to send in all right there you go hopefully that helps you out that was swag I just gave you some gold there, my friend. All right. Uh, hopefully that helps you. Um, are there any on-page factors? Okay. Which tool do you think that helps me in this process? I'm not sure. I don't know. See, Yai Branker had something, but then they got greedy, right? Those guys had something. They had a nice system. Then they got greedy, and then they started to try to blow up and started pumping it, and then it stopped working. 
but for a minute there, that thing was working. That thing was on fire. Dude, when they first released those um, click views or something, right before they jacked up the price, dude, that stuff was working. Like that's how we were. That's how we were ranking those uh, crypto videos. Like we made a lot of money fast on those videos. So, I mean, I don't know. My good friend too. Uh, I, I'm. I don't know if he's talked about it, but my good friend William uh, Jones. Uh, he has like an SEO channel, dude. He was just killing it with the with that yacht. <clears throat> it doesn't work anymore, so I can talk about it. But dude, that thing was cooking. Uh, so I'm sure that there is a tool out there that you can utilize, uh, or tools or farms, uh, more notably that can be utilized. You know, but uh, hard to say in a public setting. <clears throat> All right. Are there uh, on-page factors? Okay. Uh, do you know any SMM panels for YouTube videos? Ah, uh, dude. I, I don't. I'm sorry. <clears throat> how about... Uh, how about JAP? Just another panel. Right? <clears throat> SMM Heaven. That's an oldie but a goodie. Uh... SMM Garden. I mean, there's so many of them, dude. It's been so long since I looked at a panel. I, I think you're spinning your wheels with that kind of stuff uh, in 2023. You know, like those, I like <clears throat> a lot of those are just view bots. Like, it's very hard to generate a high quality view for a penny, you know? So I, I would steer clear of that. I'd be looking for a farm of some sort. All right. All right, Farhad says, love, love back to you, brother. Good to see you. Wait, Fahad. Fahad Farouk. How do I know that name? Any case, great to see you, man. I, I, For some reason, I feel like I know you, um, but I don't recall how. Uh, so no disrespect, I just don't recall at the top of my head. All right, Sean Patrick, I'd love some new article schema examples, please, dude. Okay. Uh, article schema. Uh, we can do that together. Uh, I'll share something with you. I'll show you a little, show you a little something, something. You know what I mean? Uh, all right, Adam, you're winning if you love your job. Oh, I love my job. Do citations work in GMB rankings? Do citations work in GMB rankings? Man, you know, this is an interesting thing. See, there's, there's, yes. But, you know, I was going over this with one of my clients this morning, right? They had a past agency that was working on, there, there's a trade-off between the directories and the citations. And this was a talk that myself and, you know, one of my top three clients and I were talking about, right? Uh... Someone I spend a lot of time with, I talk to quite a bit. Uh, see, here's the trade off, and this is what's interesting. When, if I build in a lot of directories, whether they're niche specific or not, along with citation listings, yes, my maps do very well. Absolutely, positively, lutely. We looked in uh, four four or five different very hard cities. And it was very consistently evident that we're looking at the graph. The previous agency built in 300 plus citation slash directory sources, low quality, some good stuff, but mostly crap to the particular page on the website with name, address, phone number, and primary keyword of whatever the page was, right? A lot of them were generic. And what I noticed also, too, on at least some of the better competitors, what they're doing is they are building in rapid directories at scale, right? Like we're talking hundreds. And yes, they're getting an advantage in maps. Sure. But what I've also noticed is nine out of 10 of the businesses that are doing that, they may be winning in maps, but they're tanking in organic. So... 
it's finding that harmony or that balance, which is the issue, right? Um, so that's a hard, uh, that's a tough one, my friend. So if maps is your only concern and you don't want to win in the three places, right? Business owners that I talk to, at least this is just my understanding and, and my feeling, right? Not feeling. It's, it's my understanding from working with numerous business owners in, in a decade is you want to be in three places. I need to own, I want to have, well, really four. I need to have my LSAs, right? I need to have my maps. I need to have my organic ads. We're talking about ads here. And then I need my organic rankings, right? So I need maps. I need my LSA, my ads, and I need organic rankings. Like I need to be in all those places. And the reason why, uh, is because the probability of generating the click significantly increases the, the more chances or the more times that we're on the page. That's why you want to be in all those places. That's why you want to bet or bid on those keywords. That's why I want to have a uh, map ads. If I'm not already in the map pack, that's why I want organic ads and I want to be ranking in the top five, right? So that's, that's why, um, I believe it's called EPA uh, for some reason. Uh, yeah, something like that. Any case, doesn't matter. Uh, moving on. Do you know any SMM? Have watched your advanced theme vectoring videos. Does this process still work today for ranking websites on high competition niches? Theme vectoring is taking a website that say is loosely related and transferring relevance through text, not by link category, right? Because the link category still needs to be in order. So what I mean by this is if the previous site was about dentists, okay, but the backlink profile is law and .gov, that means that the, the category of links is law and .gov, but the previous site was dentistry. So what I do then in order to theme vector is, okay, that's cool. We'll set that up and get the equity, but the pages that I link from, right? and pass equity through will be all about law and point to a page that's about law. So I'd probably create a, a page about car accident lawyers. So this is how you would successfully theme vector in 2023. All right. So hopefully that helps you out. Um, hi. Hey, Anthony, what's up, brother? Good to see you, man. Great to see you. All right. If you have any other questions, please. Feel free to ask. If not, um, all right, there we are. Okay, so this this is a good question. Let's go ahead and pull this one out. Hey there, I am Chris Palmer with yet another Chris Palmer SEO short. In today's short, we have a question from Skurdu. Skurdu ask, asks, should I post anything when, when related to Google Maps or Google Business Profiles? Should I post anything? Does it have to be related? What exactly should I post? Should I, images, videos? And this is a great question. I've got this quite consistently. So the answer here is as far as the type of post, whether it's an update, event, or an offer, right? Whether it's an image or a video, all the above, okay? Now, what exactly do we post? This is information-assisted selling, right? The reason for a post is to help promote the services and the products that we have to offer. So what do we post about? We give information or context to the services or products that we have. So if you're creating a post and let's say you're a personal injury lawyer, your post should be about motorcycle accidents. They should be about car accidents, personal injury, 
uh, train accidents, bus accidents, truck accidents, right? Medical malpractice, workers' compensation, these types of things, okay? And what you want to do is when we create the posts or videos or offers or events, we point them to those relevant pages, but always give context to the content that you're pointing to. I hope this helps you out, and I'll see you in the next video. Right? All right. Okay. Okay. I think I got, I catch a lot of them. I, I try to answer everybody. I missed a couple. But for the most part, I answered everybody. See, bam, bam, bam. I answered a lot. I didn't miss really any. These are the questions. I usually grab all the questions. Um, anything held for review, I usually just delete like this kind of stuff. Spam. You know what I mean? Like, I just either block it or delete it or hide them completely. Inappropriate. In an account on your website. Oh, it's inappropriate. So that's probably profanity or something. All right. So that's that. I think we're going to call it here. Uh, how many of you? We're at an hour. Perfect. So that's going to pretty much uh, wrap it up for me for today. Uh, but let's go ahead and ask uh, or answer anything else that you might have. Hey, good morning, Chris. Good morning to you, NVDH. Great to see you. Rob Becker says, we. Robert Becker. Uh, Robert Becker. How do I know this name? This, uh, man, I, I had a Robert Becker, man. He was, I, I don't think it was you, but this guy was really off his rocker. I forget what we were doing together. Man, he was sending me the weirdest messages and emails. It was just strange. And then when we started talking, he quit talking. It was so odd. Uh... It's just your, your name rang a bell. I know I, I'm I'm a hundred percent sure it's not you, but <laughs> uh, great to see you anyway. Anyway, here uh, Victor says, "Hey Chris, hey to you, Victor. Good to see you." N V D H. Do you build link to long map URL and how many and what type of links? Uh you're talking about building links to Google. So my friend NVDH has to be somebody uh, that has paid very close attention. So the answer is definitely, right? I absolutely build um, links to Google and the long link. What kind of links? Generally embeds, um, frames, uh, GSA primarily, um, and citations. I, we also like utilizing, there's a directory builder. It builds 700 PR1 or higher directories with website submitter. We like utilizing those. They're directories. They're international directories. That's generally what we uh, will send to that URL. Uh, another place I like to send links to is the reviews, especially if we get a review from, say, a local guide or somebody that's worthwhile, right? If it's a client that is in a hyper competitive uh, area. Uh, I've seen good success with this. So uh, we're seeing that the real person reviews are boosting the ranking uh, way beyond anything we've seen before. A real person is defined as any real person who has an Android phone that is active. Yeah. Um, I am that guy. <laughs> That's funny you say that. I was worried about you, Robert. And uh, real reviews. Um, irrelevant if... Uh, irrelevant if it's an active or not, or spoof. I know a gentleman that spoofs the uh, phones and leaves reviews that do very well. You know, so it's all good. Uh, 
yeah, you know, we, we did have, um, two VAs that we had to get rid of. It's, it's been a, a learning process for sure, Robert. Um, so yeah. And NVDH, thank you, Chris. Hey, it's my pleasure. But we're at the hour mark. Um, I pinched my finger. It's been an absolute pleasure. I truly appreciate your time tonight. If you have any other questions, ask in the section below. We've got a lot out here. I got the main video out. I got some shorts done. It's been a ton of fun. I've had fun. I'm starting to get tired. I actually have some work that I have to take care of. Um, but yeah, it's been great. Thank you so much for your time. Many blessings. And of course, I'll see you in the next one. If you're interested, um, check out chrispalmermarketing.com uh, for any and all of your SEO needs. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Glad you're doing well. I'm glad you're doing well as well, Robert. Good to see you. Have a good night, brother. Bye-bye. See you, Anthony.